Hey guys, it's Darren here, and um, I was very upset over the last week. Well, not that many. Just a few days, I would say, from Thursday all the way to today, Saturday, trying to figure out why the hell Precision X1 would not boot. Now, if you don't know what Precision X1 is, if you have any type of EVGA graphics card, nearly messed up my words here, you will require this software to basically control the temperatures, you know, control the fan speed, uh, LEDs, even overclock your EVGA graphics card. Now, you're probably wondering, why use this? Why not use Afterburner? Well, EVGA is a bit like Apple. They don't like other software controlling their own hardware, and... Um, some people with new 20 series cars and 30 series cars have experienced that and they can't increase the fan speed they can't change the led they can't really do much they have to download precision x1 now precision x1 isn't really the friendliest i prefer afterburner because it's a lot better in terms of performance and monitoring and precision x1 is basically even though this is the full version it still feels like a beta it does what it has to do to a minimum and that's all it does so if you've been having the issue in where you can't open this, you basically open it after reinstall. If you've reinstalled Windows, you downloaded this, you try to open it, you know, it comes up in Task Manager and disappears. It's because VC runtime is missing. As a PC master race user, you would have thought that, you know, installing the motherboard drivers, chipset drivers, graphics card drivers, every type of driver you need when rebuilding and reinstalling Windows 10 on your machine, you would think that it would have installed the one thing that would have made this one piece of application run. But it didn't. So, what you need to do is you, as a PC Master Race user, needs to go to VC Runtime 140 underscore 1. You hit the first link and you download the 64-bit bit version of the software. Now, if you're running a 30, if you don't know what version of Windows you're running, or version of system you're running, just go to System Information, and you will see X32 or X64 base PC on here. Now, once you've done that, once you've figured out which version you actually have, you download the 64 or 32-bit version, you then go to your downloads folder, which I'm going to go here. And you are then going to open the file. You're then going to open a new Windows uh, folder, which I've already done. Go to your local disk, Windows. Scroll all the way down till you see System32. Don't open it. And then just copy and drag that in here. Now the pop-ups you're going to receive is basically, do you want to replace this file? Click yes. Do you want to install this file? Click yes. If you get something keep asking you to try again, that be that means you have something open that actually requires VC runtime to be used. So what you need to do is just go to Task Manager and just close anything that would require it, such as Google Chrome. If you have a game running in the background, turn that off. Some games require it, some don't. And the reason I'm not going to show you is because EVGA GeForce also uses it and I'm recording so it's not going to work. So once you've installed that into System32, just reboot your machine and then try to boot up Precision X1 once again. And that would be the fix. The only reason I figured this out is because I tried to run Apex Legends and it told me that I was missing VC runtime. And I was very surprised into why I was missing it because I reinstalled everything. But I didn't reinstall everything. And as an IT technician, that was very silly of me. So just go ahead and do that, guys. And you'll be all good. I hope you guys um, enjoyed this video. Just give it a like, share it with your friends, post it in forums because there's still a lot of forums saying why this damn thing wouldn't work. And that is why. I hope you guys have a good day and happy, happy Saturday, Friday, whatever day you watch this. It's the 27th of March here in the UK. Have a good day.